Hey yo boys, it's me, Savoy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I got this fall inspired half cut crease look. I love the fall. October is like my favorite month. It's my birthday month, it's got Halloween, the weather's getting a little colder so I can break out all my sweaters and be cozy and comfy. It's actually been raining all day and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So I just wanted to chill out, play with some makeup. I hope you guys enjoy the little tutorial, video, look, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let's get into the video. Hey everybody, so today I'm going to start with my hair already pulled back and my eyebrows done. And I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette in the shade Creamsicle. And I'm just going to buff that all into my crease as my transition shade. And then I'm going back into that same palette into the shade Hunts and I'm just going to put that in my crease focusing on the outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit. And then I'm going in with that first brush that I was using just to blend those two colors together. And then I went in with the shade Mocha on a small pencil brush I'm just going to focus that on my outer corner and crease. And I'm going back and forth the same two brushes I was using just to add some more color in there and then to also blend it out to create a more seamless look. Then using my Tarte Creaseless Concealer in the shade Fair, I'm just going to cut my crease and then set it using the shade Tempera for my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. And using that Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going in with the shade Obsessed on my middle finger and I'm patting that all over my lid and then I'm going back to soften up the edges and add a little more definition into the crease. And using my Sephora Black Liquid Eyeliner, I'm just going to be lining my eyes and creating that wing. And today I'm going to be using my Kiss Lashes in the Style Corset. I'm just going to be gluing those onto my lashes. And then I'm using my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara to blend my natural lashes in with the fake ones. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Waterproof Gel Liner to tight line my eyes. And to start on my face, I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Foundation in the shade Buff Beige. I'm going back in with my Tarte Creases Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm just going to highlight the high points of my face.
And then using my Milani Contour and Highlight Duo, I'm just going to contour and carve out my cheekbones. And going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair, I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge and carve out my cheekbones and bake the face. And then I'm just brushing that bake away and I'm going to go in with my Hula Bronzer by Benefit and I'm just going to bronze up the face and add a little bit more dimension. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with my Milani blush in the shade Blossom Time Rose. And to start on my lower lash line, I'm going back into the shade Creamsicle, and I'm just going to blend that from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. Then I'm using the shade Hunts, and I'm just going to put that a little closer to the lash line and blend it out. And then I'm using the Small Definer brush into the shade Mocha. I'm just going to put that as close to the lash line as possible, and I'm just blending all those colors out. And going back in with Obsessed, I'm putting that on my inner corner, and then I'm going to line my waterline and put some mascara on my lower lashes. And going back in with my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm using the shade In Light to highlight my face, brow bones, and inner corner. And for lipstick, I'm just going to use my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita. Alright, and that is the finished look. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like me and you like these little videos that I make, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am trying to put out new videos every single Friday, so make sure you keep an eye out for those, and I'll see you next time. Bye!